It isn't uncommon to find animal bones in the woods. One might go out and find shed deer antlers or the skull of a small animal such as a squirrel or raccoon. But one Putnam County, West Virginia man made the discovery of a lifetime when, out on a hunting trip, he found the skull of a prehistoric creature. Uh, uh, Sunday morning rolled around and we uh, got ready. Uh, went out that morning uh, before daylight. We start down the uh, down the, the main hollow uh, of the, the, that area. And as we're walking down through there, that's when we really started to notice uh, all of the debris uh, that was scattered uh, from the flash flooding. Uh, I noticed what I thought was uh, was a, a root ball that had you know washed out with the uh, the flooding. I could see it from about forty yards away. Uh, didn't really think much of it, but it, it definitely had my atten- my my attention because it was right in the walking path. It was laying. Um, with the jaw uh, facing up and I was able to notice the teeth that were in it and it caught my attention. After ruling out any possibility of the skull being a horse, cow, pig, or deer, Adkins looked to the West Virginia State Geological Survey for answers as to the identity of the skull. Who can we get a hold of to actually confirm this for us? And because I, I felt like I, we sounded crazy. And I mean, I've got a, I'm sitting here holding a, a sloth head from the ice age. There's just no way this is possible. I'm having coffee with my wife and uh, she happened to look up the uh, West Virginia Geological Survey in Morgantown. Uh, immediately, I'm like, give me the number. We are Pikeville Medical Center and we are an amazing place to work. Healthcare heroes of all types work here. All who deserve great rewards. So while our heroes are working hard to take care of our patients and visitors, we are taking care of them with top tier benefits, higher pay rates, and great sign on bonuses. So join our team today. So what are you waiting for? Apply today. Incredible opportunities await at pmcjobs.org. The skull was confirmed to be that of a giant ground sloth, Megalonyx jeffersoni. This species is believed to have roamed North America anywhere from 11,000 to 5 million years ago. Atkins is still currently in possession of the skull, but many have made offers to take it off his hands. We've had you know, some museums reach out to us uh, from uh, several places here within the state of West Virginia uh, to some, uh, some more well-known museums uh, such as Carnegie, but we, we do still have it. Uh, in, a, in a safe location. So uh, we're, we're wanting to, you know, work with the researchers to try to get as much information um, as we can about this thing and, and you know, have the opportunity to, uh, to be you know, part of the process. As an experienced woodsman, Adkins says this is the biggest discovery he's ever made. There is a Facebook group dedicated to learning more about the skull and other prehistoric species that may have lived in the area. For more information, you can visit Prehistoric Giant Ground Sloth Skull West Virginia Find on Facebook. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.